Welcome to A Taste of Torah with Rabbi Carol. It's Friday afternoon. I just finished making the dough for my hamantaschen. What are hamantaschen, you ask? They are these special cookies that we make for the holiday of Purim. Uh, they're triangular shape and they have filling in them. So I'm going to fill mine with some uh, uh, chocolate filling and with peanut butter and jelly. Because we are celebrating Purim tomorrow night here at Beth Emanuel. And we'd like to invite you to join us at 7 p.m. We have a big musical play. The people have been working so hard and you will really enjoy it. And don't worry, if you're not here on Long Island, we are going to be streaming it on YouTube and Facebook. So we hope you'll join in. But let's get to our Taste of Torah for this week. Our Parsha is entitled Tetzaveh, and it begins in Shemot, Exodus, chapter 27, verse 20. And in those first few verses of the uh, first Aliyah, it talks about setting up the lamps in the tabernacle. And it tells us the reason they are set up. They are set up to give light. And they are. Uh, we are told that they are to give light night and day. There's another scripture that says this light in the tabernacle and temple should burn continually. So it made me think about us being lights, right? Yeshua says uh, of us, you are the light of the world. And so what does that mean? It means that we need to shine brightly in the darkness that is around us. Shine so brightly that people see God in us. So I'm in this uh, once a week webinar uh, trying to learn some uh, more and enrich my understanding of how to share Messiah with others. And uh, the speaker last week shared this state, said this statement. He says, you know, people come to our service to find God. What if when they come, they only find us? And wow, that hit me. I'm like, I don't want people to just find me. I want them to find God. And that's what it means to let our light shine. That our light would shine so brightly that people don't see you or me, but what they see is God who lives in us. That he would be glorified in the words we speak, in the actions we do, and in the attitudes we display. That's how we let our light shine. We want people to know that God is real and that he loves them and he wants a relationship with them. We don't ever want people to be attracted to us or that we would be the center of their focus. So I want to encourage you uh, this week, let your light shine brightly that people might see not you. I don't want them to see me. I want them to see God in me. And I want their lives to be changed and transformed. It will never happen because of me. It will only happen because of God. So let us be lights that shine brightly in the darkness. And if you're here on Long Island, come join us tomorrow night. Have a great Shabbat evening. Shabbat Shalom.